Hello, my name is Carrie-Anne Ings and this is SAT-TV Technology Update. The European Space Agency's first Techno Innovation Days meeting, which took place in the Netherlands last month, was a chance for ESA, industry and academia to debate the theory and practice of innovation for space and share information on the latest technology trends and achievements. The aim of the days is to highlight ESA's leading role in technical innovation, communicate its major technological achievements during the past year and consider future technology trends, especially in terms of multi-purpose technologies. European satellites are getting smarter, delivering a higher performance per kilo in orbit, but this does not happen by itself. Technological development is one of ESA's main streams of activity and innovation one of its key objectives, dictated by the needs of the missions, the competitiveness of industry and the specifics of space. Innovation combines the co concepts of novelty and usefulness. The Techno Innovation Days sought to examine the idea of innovation in more detail, recount how it is carried out in real terms and look for pointers for improved performance. One of the innovative projects presented overcomes a drawback of satellite navigation, its inability to operate inside buildings. The project, a hybrid indoor navigation platform for GPS and Galileo, DINGPOS, combines a highly sensitive receiver capable of picking up GPS and Galileo signals indoors with additional positioning methods. These include accelerometer and gyroscope sensors, local Wi-Fi based positioning and map matching, which is associating available location data of its user in terms of a com computer model of the building concerned, like a character moving through a video game. David Jimenez Banos, who is overseeing the contract for ESA, told the meeting that while GPS signals can be hugely attenuated by windows and walls, the new receiver is 10 decibels more sensitive than the best commercially available equipment, meaning it can detect GNSS signals that are 10 times weaker. Initially, the system is envisaged for emergency services, with other applications under consideration for the longer term. A pair of consortia, one led by IFEN in Germany and the other led by GMV in Spain and Portugal, are developing and testing separate platforms in parallel. The testing has been taking place at the European Navigation Laboratory at ESTEC, the respective company facilities and the Galileo Test and Development Environment in Bavaria, Germany. This test facility is equipped with Galileo-like transmitters placed at high points in advance of Europe's own GNSS system becoming operational. The project is supported through ESA's basic technology research programme and builds on previous agency research, with both consortia exploiting technology originally patented by ESA within this field. DINGPOST remains a proof-of-concept project at this stage, the current platforms are bulky, reflecting the sheer density of number crunching required and need to be transported on a backpack or trolley. Thank you for watching.